Well, guys, season's coming up, and a lot of people, like myself, want to know what broadhead is the broadhead to use. So, in previous years, the last 15 years, I've been shooting these Spitfire Maxes. They are a phenomenal broadhead. They are accurate. Uh, one and three quarter inch cut, but what these will not do is go through shoulder. Um, and... I'm not even going to test that trial and error on Living Critter. doesn't work. We'll not go through with a 425 grain arrow at 70 pounds. So, I'm off on the mission to see what works. Maybe something will get through a shoulder. So, today, we're going to play around with a couple broadheads. I'm going to destroy them so you don't have to. Possibly some of my expensive arrows. But... I, w I was kind of uh, looking for a bear slash elk broadhead, something very durable. And everybody I talk to says, give Slick Tricks a call kind of thing. So this is a four blade stainless steel, one and one eighth inch cut. I'm going to dust one of these. And then these things, I couldn't help myself. I've already opened the package, had to touch them. The SS3 Slick Trick. So what I'm going to do, I couldn't help myself, I'm sitting in the parking lot and I couldn't help myself. I had to open this sucker up and just see how sharp they are because some broadheads you get are not sharp. They don't tell you that on the package. Now this broadhead here has that concave and little divot in there. I think that's going to definitely help with aeroflight. flight. But it's a solid and it's a thick head. Let's see if I can do this. Looks too easy on TV. Not easy at all, is it? I think it's mainly because it's not coming to a sharp enough point. Fuck everything over. Cut myself. I don't like how these ones come out. I dang near have to cut the box to get one out. Oh my god, these are definitely sharper. Probably be easier if you had to test where they were actually sitting. Yeah, these are sharp. I'm guessing with these buggers, let me try it one more time because I'm kind of irritated that I can't cut this paper. Sharpness compared to the other ones, these are a little bit duller. These are dangerously sharp. These are... Go to the hospital. Oh, yeah. Oh, so already... I'm liking these little buggers better. Oh, I see. I see. This is one of those I put on and hopefully it don't fall off of my fingers. Yep, this is a hospital broadhead. So there's your slick trick. Four blade, one and eight inch cut. I like this solid ferrule on here. I'm not a big fan about uh, replaceable blades, but we'll see for a fixed blade head. And if I got enough arrow left in here, I'm going to dust one of these ram cats. And uh, I, I like ram cats that they got double sided cutters on them. So if it goes in and pulls out, they're cutting both ways. But if you buy ram cats, pay attention. Only thing important in this entire video, make sure you unscrew these. 
and put Loctite in them. If you do not, you will be very saddened when you get up on top of a mountain and you pull out your arrow and these blades are flippity floppity all over the place. And they tell me, oh, you can shoot uh, with the same accuracy with a floppy blade. Well, I'm not going to. You know, it's not worth it to me. But these are a solid broadhead and I've never broke one. So, let's go break some broadheads. And uh, I'm gonna, here's what I'm using for my dummy. I have actual deer shoulders. And I'm going to hit them both. And uh, we'll see what happens. And if uh, broadheads hold true, my bet is this solid machined stainless steel is going to hold out better. But I'm also looking for the penetration. Yes, I can break, if I can break a shoulder, that's great. But I got to get in there five, six inches just to start cutting into the boiler room so and I, I'm not a big fan of a single lung and a deer with a single lung can go a long way so I'm trying to blow right through the other side so let's see if uh, if I can get through one shoulder maybe we'll find a new broadhead now I'm not happy with my paper test so you get to see some nice beautiful sexy lake all right this is how I used to uh, check my uh, broadheads when uh, shooting traditional, see so if I can do this without cutting myself, being stupid. But I'm pushing down, basically combing. We're not cutting hair, so these are not popping, uh, popping hair sharp coming out of the uh, package. So these are going to need filed regardless. They're they're sharp enough, but the I don't know if you'll be able to to see it. If I can do it this way. The actual cutting surface is so narrow, you're going to have to get, probably have to get a burr worked up and uh, get a little bit stronger edge. It's still going to punch through a deer, but I don't like that. I, it's not that, it's not hair popping sharp. All right, moving on. All right, I'm going to do this, the uh, shot through the shoulder, starting with the four blade one and one eighth inch cut slick trick. I'll zoom it in there and we'll see if watch my arrow explode. There we go. Go flop. Well, just like a thought, we'll break an arrow right off the bat. But we were roughly about yay far in past the shoulder. But take a look what happened here. We done spent a blade. Yeah, it hit so hard it ripped my insert right out of the arrow. Definitely, we can see that. Chip the blade there. That one blade's good. That thing went squirrely. That one's chipped up. So they held up about how I expected a fixed blade to. Let's take a look at this. If I can get this open here without a knife. This is what we went through to make the damage. Oh my. Dang near splitter in half. So you can see probably where that one squirrely blade went through. But it just pulverized that. That shoulder snapped in half. Now again, this is a dry shoulder, but that deer's gonna have a hard time with that leg. But clean hole through. So we'll go through a shoulder. Judging by my fake little leg, yeah, I say you're going to bust through a shoulder and probably get eight inches of penetration. 
All right, reshooting the SS3. I'm watching this arrow and it's uh, definitely moving. Arrow was definitely moving on me at uh, 20 yards. Take another crack at it. All right, kind of uh, not impressed at the moment with these. However, this did penetrate well enough to kill a deer. Again, about another 11, 12 inches. The, uh, look at that, just ripping them stupid things off. Gold tip kinetic pierce platinum. Not a good hunting arrow. I've not been impressed with the durability of them. So, here was the first shot up the top I took. The second shot down here. It's definitely breaking bone. But I can see a little bit better with the damage. It's definitely breaking bone, and it broke the thicker part of this outside. But I kept missing to the left, so I had to hold over here three inches. So it's at least off three inches from uh, my target setup which fixed blades they can be off a little bit but uh, I'm watching it float maybe my setup needs tuned a little bit but as far as going through a shoulder and killing deer I believe both broadheads will penetrate and get through the deer and uh, the <clears throat> SS3 There's not even a mark on these blades. Two rips through a shoulder. So, this jumbled up bone mess was the four blade, three blade. Which one to shoot? That's up to you. Hey guys, give it a like, subscribe, see if I break any more arrows. Follow me if you'd like. I'm going to try to get some more videos out here and break some more shit. So, stay tuned.